Most people don't realize how dangerous fire can be until it's too late. You never know until you experience is how hot and how dark and how suffocating house fire smoke is. 50% chance of survival for modern structured fire within the first 24 hours. When I first realized that I had been burned, my initial thought was this isn't happening to me, as in tomorrow will be fine, it's just gonna take a nap to sleep this one off. I got to the emergency room and it was a type of pain that you can't really describe and you would never really wish on anybody else. I woke up to uh, you know, my feet on fire, so I jumped out of bed. And, you know, when you kind of wake up right away, you don't think a lot of it, you know. So I was kind of standing there for a bit, just looking at the fire. And... Even though only 47% of fires happen in homes, it's 80% of our fire fatalities. So people are most vulnerable where they feel the safest, which is in their homes. The couch that I was sleeping on uh, burst into flames. I'd exited my room and I went and woke up my mom and went in her room. I said, yeah, my uh, room's on fire, mom. You know, uh, she came in, she looked at it, and at that point, the smoke alarm gone off. So every room that you um, sleep in should have a smoke alarm and you should have one on every floor of your house. My friend Jesse in the top room, he was um, on the second floor and I could see his outline in the window. And he, uh, he was trying to get out of his window and his window is jammed. People think that the fire department will come and save them and everything will be fine and someone else will take care of them. And it's not always the case. If my feet you know, didn't wake me up, then the smoke would have just put me out and I'd probably be dead right now. The vast majority of the time, people are dead in fires before our phone rings. And then in the morning, was told by a doctor that we lost two of our friends. In the house we were in, there was a carpet on the wall for decoration. The, none of the fire alarms worked. I ended up staying on the burn unit for six weeks and had two major surgeries, skin grafts, to my chest and my back to repair the damaged skin. It was just something I had never, ever imagined what it would be or thought that I would experience. You need to come up with a plan that works the best for your house and you need to allocate the time and the money to make sure that's done. But I think people need to take stock of what they have at home and realize that serious injuries can happen in some of the most unexpected places. They all tell the same story, that fire and burns are real and they can happen. Protect your family now and save lives.